McCaskill. Ventured out here, man. Well, you raced a lot of tracks this year. Never, you've run here in Super Bowl, but never limited, man. Third place run, not bad. Heck, yeah, we uh, we just showed up today. Figured we'd come see what these boys had. Uh, if we'd have had more green flag runs at the beginning and trying to figure out exactly how to get around this place with one of these cars, uh, right there with five to go, we finally figured it out. But uh, awesome, awesome job by all my guys. Uh, thank the Lord keeping us safe because that was a crazy race. But uh, very strong competition here and uh, look forward to racing here again. Yeah, and you had to, you know, this is a whole new game plan here. You got to save tires. You know, how hard was it to hold back and then go and all that? It wasn't hard at all to hold back. We didn't give it like a three lap run at most to start with, but. Uh, yeah, definitely a lot of tire management there in the first half of the race to kind of keep the fenders on it, keep the tires under it. But uh, like I said, we got the best spider in the world. Wouldn't trade him for nothing. Went through three radios in this race. <laughs> Here, finished second, man. You know, we talked before the race. You had to survive, and you, you, you played it well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we survived. Uh, that was a, it was a rough one. You know, we figured it was going to be running, running 100 laps, a limited late model racing here at Hickory is, is always a tough place to race. But uh, you know, hats off to Kyle Moon and them guys. They really had their stuff together. Um, you know, they probably didn't have as much motor as we did tonight, but but really, in all honesty, that played in their favor big time at the end of 100 laps. But uh, you know, if there's anybody we could finish second to, it'd be him. Yeah, but, but if, you, if you could have got to him, I mean, you probably would have wrecked him, wouldn't you? I, I don't know if I would have wrecked Well, I say that. No, I really would, probably would have just drove right across the apron and door slammed him using about eight wheels like we do on go-karts. No, uh, it, it was good racing with him, though. You know, I'm glad we both came out in one piece, finished one, two. Um, for those that don't know, he's pretty much about my brother-in-law. Uh, we live about a quarter mile across the road from each other. We help each other back and forth. Um, you know, if there's anybody we could get beat by and halfway be happy about it, it'd be him. Kyle Moon, he still is a race car driver, and look, he's in victory lane, man. This thing was a beast tonight. Man. Oh yeah, the the boys, Derek and Seth, both they uh, they know what they're doing. That's for sure. They that, they made that easy. We just kind of cruising the first bit of that race and kept the fenders on it, and here we are sitting in victory lane. Yeah, that was the hard part, man, because you had to dodge quite a bit of stuff there. Yeah, them boys, they were they were getting rough, and you almost had to go because they were trying to run you over from behind, but you didn't want to go because they were wrecking in front of you. But Peck and Chose and Got through there clean, and here we are. Yeah, and look, you got it with Kyle Manch. You like you really pressed this. You like you, you already knew this thing was going to run better once it got in front. You know? Yeah, yeah. Me and Kyle we raced pretty clean. I mean, rubbing. We're buddies. It was fun. That's all that matters. Neither of us are tore up, so that's all we can ask for there in that deal. This guy behind you said if he would have got to you, man, he was, he was going to wreck you. Well, that's fine. He didn't get to me. That's the big part. <laughs>